Sound design. Yeah. All right, so why do you want to avoid doubling up on filters? So you might see the native response of the speaker and you might think, cool, I need some kind of um, high pass filter on this sub just to protect it mechanically. Like that's my job as a user, right? And so you look at this response and you see, let's see what this natural response is. So you put a filter here and you discover like, oh, this is a 24 dB per octave roll off just naturally on this sub. So I'll just do the same thing. I'll put another filter on top of this. But we don't end up ultimately with a 24 dB per octave response because now we've added our electrical filter on top of the um, native response just of this driver in the, in the way it's physically designed. And so we end up with a much deeper response. How much deeper? Well, I think we can just um, multiply our 24 dB per octave filter by two and we know that we end up with a 48 dB per octave filter. But can also show this to you to see what it's really like. So I can head over here to memories and I'll store this response. You can see that I've turned it down here by 55 dB, but if I undo that here. So I've stored the response here of us adding this additional high pass filter. And what I'm gonna do is switch over, I'm gonna mute our sub, and I've created a third channel here just so we can look at some electronic filters. And so now we're going to look at the electronic response of this filter compared to um, this total electronic plus acoustic response of this sub so we can see what is the result here. Okay, so I need to offset this by 55 dB just so these are on top of each other. And now I can sort of drag this down till it's on top of here. So this is a 24 dB per octave filter. So you can see that we did not end up with a 24 dB per octave result. And this is the danger when you insert filters um, that are close to um, some kind of acoustic filter response that's already there, you're gonna end up with a summation of those two, right? So this obviously isn't 24 dB per octave. Let's zoom in a little bit. Is it 30 dB per octave? Maybe, let's go steeper. Here's 36. Looks like we're getting really close, right? I'm also adjusting the cutoff frequency there. Here's 42, and that looks like a match to me. And that's what we predicted, right? Because it looked like we were adding a 24 dB per octave roll off to a 24 dB per octave roll off electric filter. And so there's our 48 dB per octave result. So long story short, avoid duplicating filters. In the next video, we'll talk about where this filter should actually be at. Sound design. Yeah.